Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are here with the Dark Urge Bird. We're trying to infiltrate this mage tower to get something that may help us with the parasite. Um, the bird's infiltrating it because there's a bunch of turrets out front and uh, I can't get yeah, in there. <laughs> if you want to see how we got here, um, go back to the last episode and you'll see. We've got we've got Asterian in there too, like trapped on a balcony. Yeah, not, not Asterian, invisible. <laughs> just Asterian's chillin'. just stuck here now because of the uh, arcane turrets inside. Yeah, so we got one one uh, part of the recipe that we need, and we're looking for the second part, and we're looking for a way to maybe turn off the turrets as well. Yeah, like that's the dream, Ultimately, right? Yeah. But like, if that cleric is here, uh, what's her name? Uh, cleric of Mistra named Lenore. If mm. she's here and I'm like sneaking in, I feel like she might be pissed too. Oh, that's like... that's ironic that you're a raven and you're looking for Lenore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you check in this corner? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go check now. Okay. Nothing. There's a bunch of uh, mushroom things, and so Luckless is kind of watching from outside because he can't. We don't have a way to get him in here. I do feel like you could probably go and and just. Uh, oh, I'm not chilling on the stool. You could probably <laughs> go and um, fight those turrets. Honestly. But you need to make sure you're dealing 10 damage to even hurt them. I'm, I'm, I'm cool watching. Yeah, okay. Oh, the, Tongue of Madness. Yeah, that's what I figured. The one issue with my point of view is uh, I don't see the stuff on the ground. Like, I just see an um, outline of you, basically. Like. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Like eh? a shadow of you. Well, okay, here's the thing. I We have all the stuff we needed from this tower. Mm -hmm. We could go back to Amelium, and we could just teleport out of here. Right? We could. Like, we could. We could. Or, or you can, you can, can go in the exploring. middle and see if you can go up, which I, yeah. I assume this is a lift. Yeah, it is a lift. Yeah, yeah. There's a send and descend button. Yeah. Wish me luck. Good luck. Can't use this right now. Succeeded in our arcana check, but can't use this. Because you're a bird? I don't know if that's why. I'm going to beak attack it. <laughs> Got it. Okay. If I descend... Can't use that right now. So maybe I'll transform. Okay, you can go back, right? If you need to. I mean, back like to now that you're in there, you don't really need to be a bird. Well, we don't know that. Yeah. No, th this th this thing is not working. It's C like disabled. Lightning. Sorry. Lightning spell. Lightning spell for what? To activate it, maybe. To activate it. Yeah. Uh. Nope. Okay. What's interesting is I succeeded in an Arcana check, but like nothing happened. Yeah. You can't examine it or anything. Yeah, and so now because I um, all of our short rests are gone, I can't wild shape back to be like a bird and fly up top or anything. I um, love this music so perfect. Like I feel like. Maybe I should be trying to go down. What do you think? I, I mean, I can't though. So I, I'm out of ideas working. right now because you can't move this thing. So yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah. we I think we go back and maybe we could do a full frontal assault if we want to come back. Yeah, or, or we could like we could try getting back in a similar way, like with the bird, and then go a different path after we long rest or something. But yeah, so you know, you know, there's actually a door outside. I know. Yeah, at the bottom. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm. That's what I was saying. But okay. I can't. I can't get there. You know, like I can't. I can't. I don't have a way. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's another way around. The alternative is we just long rest, spend 80 camp supplies. I can bird again. Okay. We could do that. Okay. So, oh yeah, right. Because you're gonna stay there. Yeah, uh, yeah. In theory. Yeah. Okay. Do it. All right. Smart boy. Is that smart? I don't know. This is pretty wasteful just to become a bird. <laughs> and we actually, what was wasteful is how we used those two rests uh, before, but Asterion was pretty weak. Uh, like, do we have a ton of camp supplies? I mean, I would say, I would say yes. We still have like five full, uh, five 40 camp supply packages. Yeah, we're good. But we're okay for now, yeah. Yeah. So basically, like, at least five long rests. 
Uh, no, because those count as half now. Because oh, okay. we're on a harder difficulty. At least two and a half long rests. <laughs> right. Okay, so go back. Yeah. Staring is still there. I'm going to try to figure out how to get to that door. Okay, you do that. Um, I think I could just bird and get to that door down below. Like, I could fly there. <laughs> sure. But if, right. if we could have our whole party together, that would be ideal. Yeah, maybe I could find, like, a checkpoint or something. There might be a, a teleportation thing, too. Okay, so I'm out in the back here. Yeah, I'm watching. And I can just fly down. Good. Good. Okay, now, from here... Check, check over here. I'm going to check that tree. I'm just checking if there's anything behind it. Now, it's I mean, like, uh, like, if you follow the river, that's where the boat goes, too. Like it goes along this river, right? So maybe the boat does stop there. Oh, that's possible, yeah. Do you want me to uh, go try it? Well, you might be engaged in, like, a rescue quest then, and I'm, yeah, like, stuck yeah, here, yeah, but... Yeah. I get it. Like, there's kind of not much for you to no, do. No, no, I don't. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. This is the, this is the way it's going to be sometimes. There's susser bloom here. So this is another susser tree. That's curious. Okay, and there's a dirt mound. Save it for later. This is another place where you can get the susser bark, I guess maybe. So I can't get bark here. There's no bark, but that there was insinuated that there's a susser tree, but we did get that bark before. But we can just yeah. get those susser uh, blooms, right? But now I got to get rid of them because they block all the the anti-magic stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Anti-magic. Those are magic turrets. Yeah. Ah. With that, with that uh, I'm going to send these. I'm going to send these to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll throw them. Dude. Wait, 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 wait. You throw them? I'll throw them at the turrets. Isn't that what you're thinking? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's actually... Yeah, that's next level smart. I was thinking <laughs> you would just have it with draining the character of magical energy, preventing it from casting spells. Yeah, throw it at the turrets. Yeah. Okay, now can I watch you somehow? Yeah, double click on me. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go turn base mode. Yeah. What's your range like though? Like, can you do let's that? Do, let's do throw. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can throw. I assume it's only throwing one. So are you looking at me? I am, yeah. Maybe just, just to be safe, split them. Just split them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, send one be, to... That would be weird, though, right? They throw two? Yeah, it would be. It would be, but send one to, like, Shadowheart. Uh, it, it's split up. It's fine. Okay. Um, Dude, that's... If this works, that's really cool. Yeah. So there's gonna be so, so many people that are like, well, duh, <laughs> you know. But like, I don't know. Good idea, I think that's Kolak. so cool. Oh my god, is it working? I I turned off, turn on turn base mode. Let's see. Hell yeah, it's working, baby, bro. Woo! That's sick. See, I don't see all like the details. So, dude, that's awesome. Now we have now, more of these. We do have more of these, and you're gonna need to. Yeah. Okay. So I have a plan. I'm going to grab a I'm bunch fine. from camp and throw them. That's my plan. Okay, yeah, fine. Go for it. I was going to go to camp for you, but I'll just leave my guys here, and I'll keep kind of investigating. Yeah, keep looking around. I'll dig this hole and um, whatever. That's that's freaking awesome, dude. Hey. So I'm going to transform back. Yo. I still have another shape shift if I want, but I want to check this dirt mound. I, I think I have some more of these. No, we I, have a I, bunch. I have one. I can't take... I can't get yours, though, right? Uh... Yeah, so no. you will have to come back to give them to me. I only have two. Okay. The downside to that... Well, okay, it's fine, because if you're disabling the traps, then whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's easy enough. Um, I did find in this garden a scroll of Glyph of Warding. Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. Ooh, so it's like a mine. That's cool. Now, do you want me to go into the bottom of this door? Oh, it's locked. Oh, is it? It's locked? Oh, Asterion. Yeah, yeah, sure. If, we, if he has Featherfall, though, he could jump down. True. 
And we do have Featherfall somewhere, mm -hmm. I think. Unless we use them all. Ooh, I just got a successful... I found a hole. What the frick? I'm way too big. I guess I gotta go cat mode. <laughs> I love this. To become a, a cat, and then I'll go into this hole, and I can kind of see in this basement. Do you want to go to camp and give me these things so that? And I there's can... a power generator down here, so oh, I might be able to disable everything. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Is this your? This, this is this is the dark urge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to watch? Hold on. Let me just go back with Carlac. Okay. Sorry. This is this is so freaking. Oh, no, I love it. I love this. Stop apologizing, freaking Canadian. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. I'm watching. I'm a cat. Now, where's... I don't know where the cleric is here. Probably at the top. Uh, yeah. Usually, they're, they're at the top of their tower, right? Usually. Now, don't uh, don't can... explode yourself, because you do that as a cat. <laughs> yeah, do, you have a, do you have a torch up your butt? I, do, I actually don't know. <laughs> Let me grab all this Yeah, crap. cats could totally do that. Okay, good. I'm going to hit this lever. You know, this game's not very realistic. Okay, so the back door is now opened. Good. So I don't need a Sterian to do anything there. Turn off the turn power. On, turn on the lights. I'm setting the vibe, bro. Okay. I thought you are supposed to turn the lights off. Well, not down here. Night. Dragon egg mushroom. Treat us on the anti-magic properties of susser tree flowers. You interested in hearing about that? Sure. Anti-magic field? Oh my god, it's so long. Um, Anti-magic properties of susser tree flowers. So I think this is like the hint to use those. Yeah. For those knowing about susser trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, this is complete enough that even those attuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly, to those living in the world above, the way its roots, bark, and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has been confirmed by any of our clerics, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I myself created items that have anti-magic properties. And that use of the magical absorption of susser tree flowers as a power source. Lines drawn on the following pages if the author intended to fill them with writing, but the remainder of the thin book is blank. Hmm. Okay, so I'm still... Are you following still? You can yep. kind of see some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see. Withered blue petals. Now... Is this thing you're standing in front of the generator? Yeah. I'm just worried about, like, you know... Don't be worried, man. You got this. There's these glowing gems over here that have, like, a health amount. It's a bit concerning. Oh, I, there's so many alchemical ingredients down here. And rotten carrots. <laughs> and shoes. Is there any salami? And, and sandals. I'll look for you. Destitute clothing. Ooh, a bunch of gems and chasm creepers. Oral histories of Faerun, the spell plague. I picked up like a, a million books like that. Several chapters. Turn the power off! I'm so <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> what what if it just... See, this, this episode you're playing like me. <laughs> I need to combine items, dude. Okay. Oh, I probably need to put a, a susser thing in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, send me a susser. Send me a susser. I'm sending... Don't, did you pick one up? Oh, you sent it to me. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, susser being sent. No, that's, that's from the wrong place. There you go. I, I don't really like that I could send you items, <laughs> but, you know, it is. It is what it is. Oh, I thought you just that exploded. It. You can watch this, I think. Oh. I think I've turned it on, but that wouldn't make sense. No, this is... Uh oh. Oh, you turned no, on the good. lift. Yeah, yeah, we're good. There we go. Turrets are powering down. Yes. Honestly, this 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 is so cool. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. This this is D and D right here. This is sick, bro. Like, this this, is so this cool. episode of the last one should be like a trailer for this game. Like we this we showed so every cool. single different way you could like solve this, except for attacking Dude, it. Straight up. What are those things? Did you see that? 
there was like enemies standing at the top of the tower. Oh, like automatons or something? Yeah, it looked like that. Okay, so those are, they're disabled now, right? Yes. Um, yes, I think. Let me just check with Asterion. I can check really quick. Yeah, they are there. Okay. I'll just leave that there. Oh, dude, so cool. What a game. Game of the year? Does it pass the aliens now? Oh, it's it's just it's just so freaking good. Uh, so I'll wait for you at the. Oh, wait, where do you come in from? Okay, I just gotta read this book. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I got a scroll of fireball, man. Nice. I'll actually just check over here before I leave. Um, druids are sick, man. Yeah, that's so we're really gonna send helpful. These are we sending these back to the camp? These, uh... The, the susser? Susser? Yeah. susser? We should, right? Yeah. Uh, I got a letter to Yuri. Okay. Dearest Yuri, I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll even read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls... I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns. Waking up next to you, despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences are penned below in a different hand. I waited. I waited until... Tarsac? I'll wait. I'll always wait for you. But you didn't come. Nice, man. Sad. Um, do me a favor. Check Carlac's inventory. I sent you something that you are going to enjoy. Elixir of bloodlust. Yeah, check it. Shrink to enter a bloodlust. Once per turn, when you kill a foe, you gain five temporary hit points and additional action. <sighs> Sweet. Single use. Okay. I wonder how long it lasts for. I found broken machinery to create elixir of lightning resistance. Replace this effect from other elixirs when drunk. Does that mean I can just always I can drink it now and it's just always in effect? No. I I don't think so. It's like single use. But then it says replace this effect from other elixirs when drunk. Yeah, it's saying if you have other elixirs on you that you've drunk previously, yeah. it's going to replace it all with bloodlust. So, but it will last forever until I do that. Mm -hmm. I... I'll look it up after. Yeah, sure. Okay, are you coming? Yeah, there's a chest here. It's locked. Um, I'm going to pick it up and send it to Asterion. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's in Asterion's inventory. Okay. Heavy chest? Yeah. Because you know that's what you do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is. There is some like game breaky stuff, <laughs> yeah. but like, if it's if it's within the nature of the game, I don't feel too bad. Sure. <laughs> it's that chest I just sent you. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever, man. Welcome to my tower. You failed. Maybe if I would have had somebody giving guidance, like maybe if you were doing your job or something. I was laughing, man. I was doing my job. <laughs> I have a lot of thieves tools. Yeah. Hit me with the guidance, please. Hmm. That's Ugh, just bliss. You need to pick me up. You need to pick me up. What's the story? I don't know if we're getting that one either. Okay, we got it. Yeah, see I didn't spoil that one. Oh, Skybreaker, one to four damage. So it lasts Legendary. until you take a long rest at your camp, the elixirs. Okay. I'll send you a sledgehammer, and I'll keep these silver ingots. Yeah. Okay, so now... Um, there's a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive, and in its wake, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that one can thrive. What next? There's a gilded chest. Oh, wait. Chest of the mundane? Oh. We got an arcana check here. Mm -hmm. 
Does that mean this is going to explode on me? <laughs> Whoa. The chest of the mundane, it's like a bunch of like plates, spatulas, ladles. It's transformed. Oh. This trickery? And it gave me a scroll of mage armor. And it transformed? Examine. Should I try opening it again? God, I feel like this is dangerous. Psychic resistance, poison resistance, radiant no. resist. Nothing. Okay, so luckless. Uh, what are we doing here? I think we need to go uh, to yep. the top yeah. and see what happens, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Should I still be this cat? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? The cat attack, by the way, um, I can distract people, and that's about it. That's I can, amazing. I can also scratch people. You can absorb one hit. Oh. Ex yeah, exactly. I thought the thing would move up, but. Oh, yeah, I guess it's by party. Yeah, it's teleporting us. Okay. We got to check all the things here. This is so cool. Scroll Another chest of, and there's a button. Scroll of blindness. Mage's friend, arcana and religion checks, plus one. What kind of item is that? It's a ring. Oh, nice. So Wait, wisdom and arcana? Uh, no, it's uh, arcana and religion. Arcana and religion. I think Let's I'll give it to Shadowheart. What is hers? It's zero arcana for arcana. Oh, Assyrian so, has plus one and exactly. religion plus one, but I Shadowheart has religion plus two, so. It's kind of like okay. it could be good on either. Yeah, give it to her. That's fine. Yeah. There's like a whole bunch of books here. Is there anything in these books that interest you? Uh, oral histories of Faerun, Gith, and Mind Flayers? Engraved Gith Yonki disc. What the frick is oh, that, that? That interests me. A round slate with circular symbols etched into it. Engraved Gith Yonki disc. Maybe we can show that to um, Lazale. Mm -hmm. Handwritten letter. I'll check this. I got a painting, man. Here's a letter to Lenore, the cleric. I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bullet? A B-U-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Uh, just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that's a sign. Is the is the bullet... Um, was that the creature? The, like, worm creature? By chance? Oh, maybe. Just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bullet is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite shaken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amareth. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Myrna's grave. So there's like a grave site with some special flowers on it. Okay. Is this the thing you're talking about that you wanted to give to... Uh... Lazale, an engraved disc of Githyanki origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt in uh, no, ancient that's... Gith dialects. Oh, okay. Well, uh, put it, then put I'm going to use there, the Gith right? on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to use that disc. Oh, my God. Okay. An engraved disc with Yankee origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. Yeah, I just said that. Right, but how do I use it? The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands just for a while? Torn out page. How can do you, I use this? Can you move it on top of it? Well, I mean... Kitty. Let me see if it's just because I'm a cat. Like, there's nothing I can click you on You can pick here. it up. Yeah, so, like, that's fine. But I can't combine stuff, right? Yeah. So if I drop both of these, you'll see what I mean. So I picked up this Githyanki disc. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Something's happening now. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's okay. message could be near impossible to discern. I think it's because I was in uh, cat mode. Oh, that makes sense. I'm just going to stash the disc in my take pack. take the disc to Lazelle. She might know more about it. Yeah. 
That's so now pick up the thing and maybe you can use it. Yeah, exactly. I still can't. That is really weird. Maybe she needs to use it. Like maybe Lizelle needs both of these things. Okay. We'll have to we'll have to remember that. We'll totally forget next time. Plenty left to There's see. a button over here over here I'm gonna push. By the way, it says can't cast spells, Susser Flower Anti Magic Field. Do you see that everywhere? No. Okay, we're back. I don't have that anti magic thing showing. So there was something oh, maybe good. weird that happened when it like forced transformed me out of a cat and then back in or something. But... Pushing the button. Now okay. that's a low button. Did, did it do anything? No. Maybe that's another way to. Now that's a low button. Just she's just saying that's a low button. I'm going to try no throwing idea. this disc. <laughs> <laughs> says target is too close, 100% disadvantage. Move away, I guess. Boom. <laughs> Bludgeoning damage, baby. Oh, yeah, I almost broke it. They only have two health. Don't do that. We'll take it to Lazale. Circular symbols are etched on yeah, the yeah, disc. Yeah. Oh, is this happening when you pick it up? Yes. Okay. When I pick it up. Drop, drop the disc. That's what I did. That's what I just picked up. Okay, but you had the you had the other the cipher in your inventory when you picked it up, right? Before I did, yes. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. So this button did what? Nothing. I oh. She was just like, "This is a low button." Phew. I bet you that button disables something with the turrets, because you can see yeah. outside from there. I, w right. I was thinking the same thing, since we already did it, it didn't do anything. Okay. Magic of the oh. Weave and Introduction. Read that already. All right, let's go up and then see if something attacks us. I hope not, but anything's possible. I have well. no wild shapes. What could go wrong? Uh, let's actually, should I short rest to get the wild shapes back? I probably should. You need to. Oh, I had to heal too. Hello, oh Bernard. Bernard is talking. You sound like a okay, so can confirm did not do any of this stuff in early access either, right? We went here, but I think we maybe just got the stuff and ran. Yeah, I don't. I don't, think I don't we remember did this, this deep. and possibly they added this. I don't know. Yeah, true. Um, I'm a friend. I come in peace. Fair. Oh boy. Well. Okay, we're this, fighting. This we get to go first. Hopefully, they don't have some crazy AOE. We're surrounded by archers. Let's examine these dudes. They have poison resist, psychic resist, even lightning resist, which I find interesting. Really? Oh, this one. Fire doesn't. resist, bludgeoning resist. Maybe it's just Bernard. Anti magic susceptibility. Okay. Incapacitated by anti-magic fields. Throw a freaking thing at him. Yeah, man. But we can't because they're all in camp. He sent them <laughs> back? Oh, yeah. 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 We, ha we had to. Sh well, shit. Okay, well, this isn't too bad. There's three animated armors, and they're weaker. They don't have any... They have poison and psychic resist. Um... They have an extra attack. Let's with fire, baby. Opportunity attack. Okay. So, what do you want to do? <laughs> How do we handle this? How do we handle this? Um, this guy is a real pain in the ass. Chance yeah. to stun the wielder unless it's a construct overcharge. Um, yeah. So these are just like automated defense, like automatons, right? Uh, click on the descend button, go back to camp, grab the anti-magic field stuff, throw it at, come back up, throw it at them. You guys are gonna have to click as well. You have to end your turn. I, I'll, I'm gonna keep descending, I think, because it's it's putting me further away each time I descend. So then I could flee. Yeah. So, wait, wait, why don't I just flee with him? Yeah, 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 I, I feel you. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I am back. I'm going to get the anti-magic. <laughs> Dude, these susser tree things are 
I'm really curious to know what people think about this. Like, it's... It's a mechanic. You know, like, we can do it. It's not technically cheating. Yeah, I mean, it's it's in there. It's like, using I our feel brain. Like that That is... is... Well, then why do you care what people think? Because now people are just oh. going to be like, I think it's dumb. I'm the internet. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Doesn't bother me when people say that because I think it's cool. I'm just, I'm curious. I, I, I'm interested in people's behavior and their thought process. Yeah, no, I'm just joking. Okay, I'm going to send this to Carlac. I'm going to send one to Shadowheart and I'll send one to the Dark Urge. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to... Um, so these are all like the, that. I guess I have to go to like the beach. Is that the closest spot? Um, you just went to camp, right? Yeah. Oh you yeah. Just I return. guess just leave just camp. Yeah. Oh my bad. I keep forgetting. I I mean I forget little. This game's so complicated that you forget yeah. like basic stuff because you're thinking. Yeah. Next yeah. level a lot of the time. So okay, okay. So now, uh, use one of your character's inventories to send me a. Uh, one of those anti-magic things, because I'm going to engage here. Oh, yeah, we, we could just, like, walk up to them, too. Um, to the Dark Urge, right? No, to uh, Asterion, because I'm coming back in one more click. Okay. Yeah, send it to me. Because I feel like I might still go first, but we'll see. You'll re-roll initiative, I think. Okay, well, cool. We're all here now. So Bernard did skipped his turn or something, maybe? I don't know what he did. Yeah, I think he just stood there. Okay. So I guess the idea is we're going to throw those things at the animated armors and then just fight Bernard, right? Is that the vibe? Correct. I'll, I'll hit this one. Okay. Go ahead. I'm yeah, just trying to get the right angle. Thing in the way. Actually, just in case, I'm going to move over a little bit. Yeah. Hey, where's my... Uh... Path is interrupted. Oh, Why here. is it oh, because he's standing? Okay, this should do. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, I'm seeing path is interrupted too. It's if you try to throw it at him, just try to throw it at the feet. Okay, I may actually want to move closer to the other guy. Oh, you want to go for this guy? Yeah. There's another one up above too, eh? Is there? Oh, damn. Okay, we don't have enough flowers for that, but that's fine. Yeah, we can take the rest of them on. Oh, I gave you my flower with Shadowheart. Yeah. Um, sorry. I'm saying path is interrupted. So that means that he's disabled. He's incapacitated. Yeah. Okay. And you, so, do you have one on the Dark Urge too? I do, yes. And and Shadowheart has one. Oh, so maybe we do have enough. Yeah, it says Shadow. Oh, it's because I'm standing next to her. That's why. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Now, so the other thing is, if I just went and stood next to this guy, is that enough to disable him? That guy, I don't think, is disabled. We're talking about Bernard? No. I'm saying oh. if I go and just stand next yeah, yeah, to... Yeah, 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 yeah. An animated nope. armor. Yeah. You just said this guy, and he's the yeah, closest, this right. guy. Okay, well, I want to make sure I can't get, like, knocked down off the back of this tower. You can do it, Odd. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm still too close to, like, do anything, so that's fine, I guess. Oh, I can magic, sh I can wild form here. Huh, cool. Uh, this guy's pretty strong, hey, so we might want to go for the wolf so I can do crits. I'm going to bless. What do you think about that? Yeah, I like it. We're just going to go straight at that dude, put everything into him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're basically wasting a turn to disable these guys, but that feels pretty good. That's not a waste. <laughs> Okay, so this guy's got bludgeoning, resistance, piercing, and slashing. So what weapon should I be using? I'm actually going to misty step up to this piercing? automaton up high. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter which weapon I use. He's resisted to it. Yeah, he's just... Yeah, you know what? I'm I, not going to do the spiritual weapon then, maybe. 
I'm wondering, like, so what's the trick to him? Because he's got to have something. Yeah. Bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Are there any other damage types? I don't think so. Not. I don't think with basic weapons. Just he's magic. Fire, lightning, psychic, and poison. So, like, something like necrotic or, like, uh, radiant. My, radiant, like the moonbeam damage. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. But I, I can't cast that because I'm a wolf now. But. All right, Karlak still has a turn. Um... I think just try to split the party and go to spaces where he can't try to push you off the ledge behind us. I'm uh, just looking at what I can use now. Maybe I could toss. I can't throw anything. I could do pommel strike. I think I'm going to cope my weapon with something that might help. Okay. Can you coat it in like... Was he poison? He said he was damage? poison resistance, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I could poison. do the elixir of bloodlust. Yeah, go for it. I don't it. know. I'm not going to be killing anyone. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, right. right, <laughs> right, right. Uh, target receives minus three penalty to spell attack rolls and spell save DC and disadvantage on saving throws from maintaining concentration for two turns. For some reason, he's, uh, Bernard is showing us threatened. Yeah, because the spiritual weapon. Oh, yeah, right. I didn't even see that in there. Did you attack with it yet, or what do you... Think no, of? no, not yet. Okay. I, don't, I don't really know what to coat it with, so... Don't, then. Just, uh, yeah. move. Oops. Oh, you can't? I already moved. Nice. Nice. Less Seven. nice. Creek. Creek. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I can't believe that. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. whoa. Whoa! Okay, this guy's... What the frick is happening? This guy's... Not Static around. Discharge Aura. All constructs near Bernard deal an additional 3 to 8 lightning damage. So that that's not going to matter. All others take 2 to 16 lightning damage each turn. When the condition ends, Bernard is stunned for 2 turns. And he's got Static Discharge Supercharge. Standing near a statically charged Bernard deals an additional two to eight lightning. What the frick? So I'm I don't want that's, a wolf. That's that's good for Carlac. He's got lots of lots of moves now. I need to I need to try to like get out of here and use that moonbeam. Yeah. Okay. I could I could push him. <laughs> I, 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 okay, hear me out. Hear me out. We can push him yeah. such that we can get the loot and kill him. How? Just freaking push him down here. You think if you have a, a thing that shows he's oh right yeah he's not going into a chasm yeah. I mean if if you have a push that works it's, I mean it's forty percent chance. Yeah, that's not that great. I can moonbeam him, bro. Like that's pretty good. I'm doing it. All right. Tactical. Oh, he barely moves. Forget it. <laughs> yeah, because he's probably like a million pounds. Um, two hundred kilograms. Fucking <laughs> going for it, big girl. So when I attack him, is he going to send out a charge? Like, um, you're going to take two to sixteen lightning damage per turn. And standing near a statically charged Bernard deals an additional two to eight lightning damage. So, fuck him. He's silenced. That's your uh, weapon, right? Oh my your weapon god! Does, <laughs> yeah. Your weapon does passive silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna need to. Did you already use Shadowheart? Nope. I've got uh, inflict wounds. I'll use that on him. Yeah, I don't know if that's wise. What are you? What are you thinking? Well, I think you might need to disengage so that he can't just destroy both of you with his attacks. He's just going to keep surging like that. There. I think that's the safer play. <laughs> I'll moonbeam him. He doesn't have resistance. Got. I'll take that. Shillelagh! Shillelagh! 
Um, I guess I'll stay away with the weapon too. Now, um, Asterion is up here. I could just 1v1 this animated armor guy, maybe. Got Pretty or sure Carlac's gonna go down here. I could try pushing him off to get him onto that low ground. He weighs 40 kilograms. It's not bad. I'll look. Okay. Only 35. Yeah, frick. All right. Well, uh, here yeah. I am. Here I am. I don't have advantage. I could try using a bonus action to hide behind him. Yep, done. Nice. And then I'll stabby stab. There's a delay, but it's happening. Are you doing something right now? Nope. Oh my god, I missed? What? Why did I miss? Sluggardly? Can't make an opportunity attack against his most recent attacker. I think that's because of my weapon. The miss. Nope. He rolled uh, three, that's why. Yeah, and then animated armor received conditions sluggardly. Sluggardly. I, I have something that's doing that. Yeah. It's not my weapon. We have so much stuff on us now that we have no idea when half the stuff happens. Like, why it's happening. I'm looking... Yeah. I'm really not sure. So what are you what are you doing? Nothing. I'm just ending my turn now. Okay. Oh it's right, spiritual weapon. He's missing me at least. Okay, so that's good. He's he's whiffing me big time up there. There's the moonbeam damage. Now he's coming in here, and holy shit sticks. Whoa. Ow. Dude, he is impressive. So this is gonna go away in two my god, two turns. I can't, like, go up and attack him. I just gotta throw stuff at him, I guess. Yeah, th 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 I wonder if we're missing something here, like... It kind of feels like it. Kind of feels like it. But I'm gonna back away. It says I can use an action to move the beam, and I'm just not 100% sure how to do that. Unless it's just recasting the spell. Maybe. Cl so click, I'm on gonna... the, click on the spell, see if there's an option to, like, move the existing one. I'll see if I use it, because I have two spell slots available, so I'll see if this uses it. It did. It did use a spell. So okay. I got to figure out how to move that at some point. So I will use Guiding Bolt, because that's um, radiant damage as well. Yeah, he's down to 50, but the, the Dark Urge is going to fall. Because I cannot disengage. Can't transform it. Eh? Oh. Actually, I can. I can Thank cast... Um, oh, shoot. I can't cast Prayer of Healing. Oh, Prayer of Healing can only be cast outside of combat. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah. When you switched your spells there? Yeah, because now I don't have healing spells. Scroll Evade. Hey, what about... I could Magic Missile that dude. Yep. Yep, Sweet. I'll take that. Okay, I'll do um, Guiding Bolt. It could do up to 5, five to 30 damage, Radiance. 45% ch chance, though. <sighs> and then that I'll sucks. hide back here. I love the, I love the having 26! Hell yeah, Oh, dude. yeah, That's he's going insane. down, man. We need 12. He might. We might even kill him on the disengage or something here. Um, I will throw him. Throw something at him. Throw him. <laughs> I will throw him. Yeah, we tried that. <laughs> um, what? What should I throw though? You must have some junk. I've got like a, a hammer. Throw a hammer. Oh though. wait, wait, wait! I've got the super throw. Enrage throw. Super throw. <laughs> it knocked him over. Oh, nice, dude. Sweet. He's prone, not speed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I don't have Is that just a chance based thing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's that super throw when I'm enraged. Ah, okay. 
Um, I could do a regular throw too. Like I could throw alchemist fire. He's resistant to fire. All oh, right. So don't do that. Just gonna throw he it away. He only has seven health. <gasps> yep. Uh, <laughs> well, silent spiritual weapon attack. Yeah, I got. Then... We got this. We got this, baby. Oh, he's one health, dude. Come on. Good, good, good. Okay, he's up. He uh -oh. didn't take a disengage. Holy Whoa. crap! He is a straight up murderer. Yep. Yep. Whose turn is it? I think it's still his turn. What's happening? It's stuck. There we go. Oh, there we go. There it's we like go. the attack, right? Okay. I guess I'll do enrage throw again. Okay. This great axe. One, two. I mean, I could just attack him. Yep, do it. Forty percent. Hold on. I know. Me, I know. Me, I know. Let me use a Starian. Forty-five percent with the spiritual weapon. Yes. Now this is my happy place. Uh, hold on. He's dead. Okay, nice. Got him! 25% chance, man. Okay. Oops. Um, uh, can you help out, help up Shadowheart or toss a not, potion? Not from up here. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I could toss a potion, but then she'll probably uh, get knocked right back down again. I was thinking with the bear. I can't, I can't toss potions with the bear. I don't have throws. Um... Nice. Is it? I just love watching the bear jump. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, uh, if you want me to, I can throw something down to her. I, I can get her up next turn. Just focus yeah. on this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Are these guys weak to anything? No. Uh, in terms of physical damage. 45%. God, why? He's got a high armor class, right? Yeah, 18 armor mm -hmm. class. That's that's why. Hard to hit. So, like, what can we use when enemies have high armor class stuff? Then we have to, like, use, like, AoE spells and stuff, it seems. A magic. Just any kind of magic. Uh... Although armor class does affect hitting with magic spells. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Like yeah, if you target. just if you land it on the on the ground, it will uh, it'll hit him guaranteed. Living creature. Okay, so even if I vampire bite, but I should be vampire biting in fights or somewhere so that I get that vampire bonus with him. I gotta be remembering. Oh that. yeah yeah yeah. Um. Also. Um. um oh, he sucks. Magic missile. Is good, right? Because it automatically hits. Yes, magic missile is good, and I have that on uh, Sterian. I got you, Shadow Heart. Oh, this is this is sweet. After they had a nice uh, character moment. I'm ready. Shadow Heart's up. She can't do anything. I'll move so it's harder for her to get hit. And then I feel like we're going to have to kill those guys, right? Let's go. You think so? Yeah. I don't think they're going to just drop. I think we're, we could probably just free shoot them from a distance. Um, I can't quite get up there yet. It's fine. Yeah, I guess they can't fight back, right? So we just keep whacking them until they die. Yeah. I'm coming, buddy. Okay. Oh. So now. Let's finish this. Uh. Yeah. Now we just go hit these guys one at a time until they die. I wonder um, what we would have needed to like 
convince these robots or these automatons. Yeah, it didn't seem like we had a great opportunity eh, to. Yeah, but it could have just been like, you know, maybe maybe like a bard or something. My faith will protect me. Oh, sorry, are you waiting for me? Oh, wait. No, I'm, I'm just using a, I was passing a health potion over. To Shadow Heart. Why? There we go. Ah, okay, I can't cast anything. Um, Just go up in melee range, right, and hit him. Yeah, I'm gonna dash. Okay. I was just trying to see if I could cast a spell. All good. Screech. Nice. It'd probably be better if we attack different targets. Just to be a little faster. Oh, you think it'd be faster? I mean, when I, go. I do, yeah. Marginally. Well, no, because you oh, prevent having to use here. two turns to cross the room, right? Oh, I can't go from there. This is exciting. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we did feel pretty smart at the time. <laughs> it would be cool if they realized, like, um, you know. Okay, I have no more. Oh, that's hitting a torch. My bad. Yeah, it's a, it'll go faster if you hit the enemies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have no more magic missile charges. Yeah, that guy's down. Okay. Can't reach. Luggardly again. I think Carlac's just gonna run from one to the other, killing them. There, I remember reading about Sluggardly, but I can't remember what we have that's doing that. Can okay. we search for Sluggardly? Maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll check later. I'm gonna Wait, move away second. and I'm just gonna cast a spell. Yes. Fuck. Find a route. You know, be cool. Do we have guidance, or did that wear off? Or did we ever cast it? Oh, bless. Yeah, no. It. Um, oh, yeah, bless, I, yeah. Sh I should have recast it if I could have. It's go time. It. Uh, she got hit, so she lost concentration. All right. <laughs> I think I just attacked a dead body, dude. Yeah, you did. <laughs> dude. Can die. Okay. Hit, so, yeah, he's got an AC of 18. Yeah, I, can, so, I, can, like... I can bless. Good call on that. This is going to feel good. Freaking shit in the way. Jesus. There's a whole bunch of shit in the way. I know. Uh, it's really messy. Can you move that? Well, let's just give him a chance. Okay. Oh, also, you're holding it, right? So. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's funny. <laughs> Epic beatdowns! Got a lot. There we go! There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. You wanna go check that cool guy? Time to get I know yeah, I'm you on. do. Yeah, I'm on. There you go, guys. We didn't push him off. Potion yep. of greater healing! I'm gonna regather all the Sisser Blooms. Light of Creation. Guess what? It does lightning damage. Six to twenty. It's a spear. It looks like. Uh, okay. Overcharge chance to stun the wielder unless it is a construct. Okay. It's plus one. It has rush attack, lacerate, and cleave. Rush attack would be pretty cool on Karlak. Guiding light. I believe you had this. It's the light light cantrip mm -hmm. gives you that and an antique key an old hefty key found on an automaton in the underdark thanks for that description man interesting so where would that key what be do used? we do with the key maybe to unlock the door down below but then how would we could be yeah. come in here uh, do you want this ring, the uh, guiding light? Let's you cast light. It? Uh, try casting it on you, and maybe that would uh, give you the light you that you want. I sent it to the dark urge. Oh, did you hear that? No. It says, my ring lit up, must have been linked to that button, and then this basement button appeared. It doesn't say ascend or descend anymore, it says basement. So that ring is special. Huh. Used by the previous owner to access both the Underdark's darkest corners and her own basement. The ring seems to reflect light where there should be none. Oh! So there... There's something special there. I, you didn't I, read the, I didn't read the, didn't whole, read the flavor I didn't read the text. whole description. Oh, I just thought it was like that thing you had before. So I could use this, yes, to infuse cool. myself with an aura of light. Look. Good call, man. And that lasts until long rest. Which exactly. Is cool. You can just keep recasting it. Remember I kept casting that on you in early access? Yeah. Because you're like, why am I missing all the time? It's because you're trying to attack in the dark. So I kept casting it on your weapon. So you should come to the basement. Mm-hmm. Because this is a different basement than the cat was in. Uh, I just have Descend now. Oh, I can't use it. Oh, yeah, because you don't have the you ring. You got to come back up. Well, what's that going to do? You come up, I go down, you go down. Because I can click on it when you're up here. No, that won't work. I'll send you the ring. Or that. Fine. Put the ring on, use it, come down, and then come back up. And then give me the ring. Scroll of Invisibility. Nice. So I picked up a Scroll of Invisibility. Um, I think there was something else. Oh, yeah. Scroll of Dark Vision. Scroll of Scorching Ray. Scroll of Feather Fall. Okay, I sent it back to you. Okay, thanks. I'll take the Feather Fall, I guess. Um, scroll of Ray of Frost. I'm sending these all to Shadowheart. Mm -hmm. Darkness. Crown of Madness. Scroll. Charm person. Still madness in a humanoid enemy, making them attack the creature closest to them, other than you. Even if it's allied, that's cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff down here, man. Gilded chest. I guess I should read the descriptions, huh? It's so funny, because I usually do. And in this case, I was just like, oh, we've seen this before. Need to keep it's we I usually don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's a ring, the sparks wall. The wearer can't be electrocuted. <laughs> ah, there so you go. So there must be a way in here that we didn't see, that I probably didn't see, because I was the one navigating. Well, um, mm. When the inventor ear met the cleric Lenore, sparks flew. Apart, they were in a rut, but together they inspired each other to push the boundaries of innovation and invention. The ring is just one of their many scientific triumphs. So that's anti-electrocution um, and resistance to lightning. Elixir of poison resist. Drow poison. Coat your active weapon with poison. Uh, elixir of bark skin, drink to increase your armor class to 16, and a scroll of stinking cloud. 
create a gas <laughs> cloud so nauseating it prevents creatures from taking actions. That's good. Sh Shadow heart. Uh, I got a staff of arcane blessing. It's got mistress blessing. Bless grants an additional one d four. So yeah, you can. I don't know if you can cast bless or it just has it. Dude, I have. <laughs> I have a pair of boots, Mistress Grace. I don't know where we got these. You might like this, actually. The Who's Mistra staff. again? Who's Mistra? Mistra is she's the... the uh, she's the... Oh, right. It was Lenore that was the Lady of the Tower, right? Yes, but Gale's uh, girl was Mistra. The, the goddess of magic? Something like that, yeah. Mm. Um, and it grants Featherfall as a skill. Beautiful. So I'm going to replace these electric boots. I don't know if you want that. I also sent you that staff of arcane blessing. A little trick that you can do is if you click on the, the slot for the weapon, it shows you all the stuff that you can equip in that slot. Right. Sorry, you might be hearing Walty. Aw, that's okay. Okay, well, I got to stop here.